vlog buddies, I just got back from Tel Aviv Pride in Israel and I have to say that surviving gay pride is probably just as much an art as it is a science. And when I say survive, I literally mean that you basically claw your way through the foam and the glitter and the men's and the men's and the men's. Okay, so here is what you need to know. Okay, first things first, if there is one rule that you take away, it should absolutely be this. Don't, Don't wear, wear flip flops. Flip -flops. There are many reasons for this, not the least of which is that you don't want to get foot herpes. Number two, flirt with a drag queen because I guarantee you it will probably be the best experience of your entire life. Number three would be go to the f parade. I know that everyone loves going to the parties and the bars, but do not forget that the parade is basically the centerpiece of gay pride. Also, they'll probably throw free condoms at you. If a guy woofs at you, remember that it is actually a compliment. Stare at people. I think this is like one of the few occasions where it's actually polite to do so because when people are out in their harnesses or their drag and their leather, whatever it is, they are doing that because they are proud and they are not ashamed. So Instagram that sh Number six is if you can't find anything to wear, then don't wear anything at all. Less is more, the exception to that rule is glitter. Number seven is do something that doesn't involve alcohol or naked men. And by that, I mean have a cultural experience. When I was in Tel Aviv, for example, I designed my own fragrance. Manson by Davy Baby. <laughs> Coming to a sex shop near you. <laughs> and I took a mud bath in the Dead Sea, which only involved half naked men. Number eight, stop telling lesbians that they look like Justin Bieber. They already know this. Number nine is to remember why we are here. It is not some sort of contest to see how many penises you can touch in a given weekend. Though my record is 22. Just kidding. Pride is about remembering and honoring all the challenges that we've overcome. And it's about celebrating all the progress that we've made. That is what Pride is about. So in the comments below, I'd love to hear what tips you have for surviving Pride. And as you can see, I'm still recovering. I totally lost my voice, but the better the Pride, the batter my voice. So wherever you end up going, I hope you have as much fun as I had in Tel Aviv. I love you guys. I'll talk to you again soon. Peace out. Tell you, I feel like I'm like.